Next question is, what is a health coach? Oh, a health coach? I'm a health coach. <laughs> I know, I know. So what is a health coach, my dear friend, since you are? Yeah, I, I'm so happy you brought this up. Okay, so <laughs> I want to just start from why I became a health coach. I became a health coach because of the narcissistic abuse mm -hmm. recovery. Um, mm. I was blown away by how many parts of your life are awful because of the fact that you lose yourself in a relationship. Can you say and that one more time for me, please. You were blown away by how many parts of our lives our, our lives are ruined or Interesting. sabotaged or not paid attention to because okay. you're so focused and your energy is going towards the narcissist and they keep raising mm -hmm. the the what is it called? The what's that word? It's on the tip of my tongue. They keep raising the bar for okay. you know they need and, and you know how they're treating you. And um, so, you know, you're, you're disorganized, you're financially a mess, and mm -hmm. not, you know, people are. This is what No, I'm no, I, I get what you're saying. Your, right, right. your health is awful. Um, and I'm trying to think what else. There's a, like, there's a few other parts of your life that are just your friendships, your family relationships. There's so many parts of your life that are sabotaged. And so... As I was doing the healing, I started learning more and more about all these other parts that you know, are, are ruined in people's lives. And the health part was very interesting to me. So, um, I, you know, it was an online school at the time, but they have it. You know, they have it both now. It's a great program. Highly recommend it. And um, it, it just teaches you so many things. It's not only like diet and exercise. It's not that. It's mm -hmm. just about health in general and how to live longer and how to live happier and the cultures that do live longer and happier and healthier and, you know, how important social being social is and mm -hmm. um, loving what you do. And it was just great. It was such a great learning experience. So and it took a while to learn, but, you know, I was happy I did it. It, ch it changes the way you think. You're a health coach. Excuse me. I can tell I'm just getting back. My voice is going already. Um, you're a health coach. You gave us some advice on things that we can do to take care of ourselves. Uh, because I, how did you put it? We we can let some things go because we're so busy dealing with a narcissist or dealing with a, a person oh, who is yeah. a troublemaker that we will lose sight on our own health. For sure. Yeah. Especially the narcissist is a big drinker. I've come across uh, that with people where you kind of join them with their drinking. And, oh, you know. I didn't think of that. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. If uh, we start taking care of our health, getting out in nature, as you put out, uh, you know, listening to something, even while we're doing that, I like how you said, listen to a video to listen to something and move our bodies. You said, get some sun. You said, get some sleep. You said, there's probably a number of other things you could mention. Everyone should go to your Instagram page, comment, share, follow, comment, share, follow Dr. Robin Bryman, thank you so much for doing this real talk with Dr. Robin Bryman. I uh, appreciate it a great deal. And uh, based upon the experience, I'm quite sure I can torture you again. Uh, so thank you so much. Anytime. My friend. All right, everybody, thank you <laughs> thank, for being here. Those you. who watch this back later, please like, comment, share, follow Dr. Robin Bryman. Is the problem in your relationship or your expectations? So people are having challenges in the relationship. Is it the relationship or is it the person's expectations that's causing the problem? Was the question that was rendered to me. Okay, so so I'm going to reframe it here. So the yep. person that is unhappy in the relationship, are they expecting too much from the relationship? That's a very good question. It's very deep. So I'm going to take the perspective that they're expecting it's not somebody else's fault if somebody's not meeting your expectations. Um, and it's really your issue if, if you have a problem with the other person. But you shouldn't be in a relationship with someone that you have so many problems, problems with, right? I mean, yeah, you should, yeah. you know, then that person's not for you.